We're on easy street And it feels so sweet Cause the world is but a treat When you're on easy street Welcome to the Easy Street Radio Show Hosted by Rob Scribner Grab a cup of coffee and let's get started Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags Available at Amazon right now Hello, everyone, and welcome to Easy Street. You can find Easy Street on Good Talk Radio. You can find us on Spreaker and several other platforms. And now you can find us on Cutting Edge TV. Not only do we uh, play on there on a regular basis, but we can also be found on Video On Demand on Roku. So uh, in order to find Cutting Edge TV, all you have to do is go into your Roku account, go into Search, type in Cutting Edge TV, and add us to your menu. Just that easy. That way you can just sit back in your living room and watch all of our wonderful shows. So today it's a follow-up from another show I did earlier that uh, actually riled a few people up uh, from an article I read about uh, several uh, uh, people getting paralyzed uh, or having issues with, uh, you know, the V stuff. And uh, <clears throat> today I'm following up with uh, another sad, sad report of a gal that uh, actually, let me bring that a little bigger so you can see up close. You can see that this particular lady, and since uh, I, I'm trying not to have any copyright issues, this video I'll make available in the description below. This gal is covering her face for a reason. is because uh, she actually uh, had a terrible um, issue with the uh, CV vac stuff and uh i have to be careful with my wording and see how times the word we can't even show any of this stuff this is on youtube also and uh, i'll put uh the links below in the description this gal uh, uh basically got bell's palsy and uh <laughs> anyway all i want you to do is um uh, and, and i want to make it clear i'm not totally against this thing however I mean, when you talk about people like uh, in their older ages and um, uh, uh, that are susceptible to, uh, that could really have an issue with this, uh, I could see some definitely, uh, and, and also pe first responders and people that are in front of people all the time, I could see the practicalities of trying this, but I think it's a little soon. A lot of us is a lot of us are wait and see. So I want to make it clear, I, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm not making any recommendations other than just showing you the data that's being suppressed. And this stuff is all over the place. There's a, um, uh, The thing is, is I don't even think this video will last very long. But this gal, uh, I'm at, all I ask is close your eyes for a minute. <clears throat> Imagine yourself, you're perfectly healthy. You have... Uh, no major things going on, um, and uh, you're worried about the CV stuff, and uh, uh, which you know should be, but you also got to remember it's a 99.6 percent rate of being just fine and dandy after you get it, and uh, and you'll get the same result as this vac would do. And so you decide under pressure, under all this media and all these things, take it, take it, take it, take it. You take it, and a, f a day or two later, you wake up paralyzed or with uh, some thing that you've never had before. We'll just say that. How would you feel then? I know how you would feel now. Because I've seen some of them notices like, oh, no, this can't be true. It's all false, false, fake, all that stuff. And that's fine. You can have that opinion. All I'm asking you to do is do your homework. Ask yourself if you really, really think you need it. And uh, if not, maybe you should wait for a while or not do it at all. It's so early. And this has only been the first month. And some terrible, terrible things have come out. This is just one of them. Uh, and I, I would beg you to watch this video and uh, beg you to do some research away from uh, prime, prime time media 
because some reason they don't want they don't want to keep suppressing this stuff because people are in fear. But we're in fear already. Could you imagine something happening to you? You're you're, you're trying to help the public. You're trying to be a good citizen. You take this thing, and the result of something very negative happens to you. How would you feel then? I, I need you to play that in your head. And so this video isn't about stop, don't do it. It's one of those, do you really need to do it? And are you willing to take that gamble? Hey, go to a casino, play with a hundred bucks, lose it. No big deal. You'll live. You gamble with this one. You could live with something all your life. Maybe. Don't know. Not saying one way or the other. So in the opinions, when you guys say fake news, fake news, all I'm saying is, is be cautious, maybe hold out for a while, um, find out, let the facts come through. Because when it's bad, you know, bad information like this, they're suppressing it. And we need it to come through. I don't know why they don't want us to know the truth and know what, what could happen. <clears throat> but imagine this something happening to your child or your teenager, an unknown issue that you didn't know about, and then this thing brings it out, it would be awful, totally awful. So I'm just asking you, I'm begging you not to judge. I'm begging you to do homework and be alert and keep your head on a swivel and listen to the data and don't just dive in blindly. That's what these people are doing. It's like even that nurse that passed out the other day, they can't figure out why they can't, they haven't verified anything since she passed out. Like, where's she at now? <laughs> what happened to her? There's a lot of really odd area. Uh, this is an odd area to be concerned about. But please, people, watch this video that's in the description. I can't play it here just to stay out of trouble. And uh, I don't know, just play all the scenarios through your head. Um, I know the big debate is I don't want to get someone else sick. Well, we do have precautions like, you know, the face mask and distancing. And those who are really susceptible may want to look at taking this. But they need to be cautious, too. So I wanted to bring that up just for uh, reference to talk about the last video and tell everybody simmer down. I understand I'm not saying one way or the other. I just think that any time the report that we can show, give it pros and cons on things so you can make a good adult decision. That's really what this is all about. So I want to thank you for listening to this part, and we're going to move on to another subject here in a minute. But once again, in the description below, please watch this video. It will just break your heart. All right, moving on to your new subject. Um, of course, a lot of you folks know over Christmas we had an incident in uh, Nashville. Very odd, very odd. I mean, uh, it, it appears that the person didn't want to uh, – uh, hurt any people, but definitely wanted to damage some buildings. And uh, I'm sure this story will change as things go, but um, one of the things that are coming out that is uh, very odd right now is, uh, <laughs> sorry, I got a dog in the background, um, <laughs> is, uh, and she always wants to play while I'm doing a live show, and that's what makes live shows fun. So anyway, uh, a lot of funny things are happening, and uh, it's a toy. And as you can see, there's somebody back here who wants it back. So I'll let her have it. So anyway, it appears to be a lot of odd things going on. And so I think what it really the message is, and I won't point out all these things because you guys will say it's fake news or whatever, but uh, there's definitely emphasis on some things going on where they're saying, these things are happening or getting our attention. Don't pay attention to them so strong 
because they're keeping you from looking at something else. It's kind of a magic trick going on, they say. And uh, so uh, we're in really in a hurts when it comes to our uh, finances, uh, our financial institutions, our banks. Uh, there's this thing called the Great Reset, which basically what's going on is we have a debt system and it's gotten so out of control that it's past the point of non, you know, no return. And so there's this talk of a Great Reset. This reset, I know, is a funny word and all that stuff, but really what they're looking at is our financial institutions and the way that we uh, spend money um, or use money is uh, capitalism's not the evil part. It's the actual structure of our money. So they're talking about Bitcoins and crypto and uh, um, things like that. And, um, the number one thing I would suggest is all the folks that I've been studying about what's going on <clears throat> are saying right now money's, you know, way up there. Let's see if we get my hands in the right place. Um, is way up there, and yet gold and silver are being held or suppressed. So one of the things they are bringing out is gold and silver, although they're not growing fast, and they're just kind of staying stable, and that's what gold metal does. The thing is, is that... <clears throat> uh, Eventually, when we don't can't handle this debt system anymore with the dollar bill, uh, they can't hold suppress that anymore. And silver and gold will just be wow, fantastic, or basically assets. If you got an uh, if you got a house that's paid for, you'll be in good shape. If you got a house that's financed, you're in trouble. Uh, things like that will be a real problem. What they really like to have is everybody not own anything and we just rent it. <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't know how that would work. How would you do that if you're a farmer, if you got property or you're a homesteader, um, work in your, uh, run your business out of your own house and things like that? I don't know. I, I see some real problems with that. But anyway, pay attention. And when something big like that on Christmas Day happens, uh, ask yourself, what else is going on? Put the pieces together. There's definitely a lot of organizations putting a warning out there that there's some real hot conversations going on out there that are possibly on the evil side, and we should be paying attention. And uh, so uh, that's kind of my message, too. And that kind of brings me to what I really like to talk about is prepping. And I know that's a dirty word to you guys. Maybe I should say uh, stirring up, being a little more prepared. Uh, say, you know, food preservation, things like that. So uh, <clears throat> all of us have different situations. Uh, I just came from Arizona, and now I'm up in Central Oregon, but five-acre place, which is a, a medium-sized little homestead. It is on the grid. It's nothing, you know, it's, I'm not playing Daniel Boone or anything. And uh, I have my own well, which was something I was really thrilled about. And you say, oh, what happens when the power goes out? Well, I'll fix that too. I got a, a backup generator system will allow us to run our well. And uh, I could also put a manual pump on that well if I really am worried about it um, and actually be still be able to get water anytime we need and that's important because we have gardens. And, and so the other thing is I was putting more emphasis on gardens this year because I want to raise a lot more of my own food. Not all of it. I'm not saying go radical. Um, sometimes it's better to grow potatoes and buy all the things I need to grow potatoes. It'd be a lot cheaper just go to Safeway and buy a bag of them for a very little cost, at least for now. Anyway, but what I also would like to do is what if the grocery stores have problems with the with deliveries and things like that, and they run out of stock on potatoes. Well, I also think learning how to preserve your own food is really smart. So, you know, food's still relatively cost-effective. Uh, when the spring comes, we'll all soon have our um, farmer's markets again and stuff like that. And tend, we tend to be able to get a lot of good food, and it would be great if you could buy more because it's, you know, you buy a whole case of fresh green beans. What would you do? Learning, you know, learning how to can would be great. Um, or use a de, uh, dehydrator 
Or in our case, Sherry and I just bought a freeze dryer. And so now I can't wait till the farmer's markets come out because those yummy fresh green beans, I can buy a whole case of them now, freeze dry them, put them in jars and vacuum seal, seal them and have tons of food available at the household here whenever we need it. And uh, so that's kind of why I'm saying is that, like, all right, there may be little waves of time when, just like when this first ha happened, maybe little waves of having, um, being able to uh, get food or, or, or the uh, shelves are low or something. And, it, and when those little waves come, wouldn't it be nice if you're totally prepared for those waves? <clears throat> um, I'm just saying that it's a, it's a good plan. It really is to uh, learn how to preserve food, learn how to buy your food a little differently and uh, buy larger quantities and preserve it. And uh, yes, I mean, like, for example, the system, um, like the freeze dryer, right? Very expensive. Um, but you can do a lot with a dehydrator, and those are a dime a dozen. And learning how, how they can, uh, I'm having, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm having no trouble buying jars right now. Uh, especially when they said, oh, you can't get them. And all of a sudden, I went to Buy Mart and they had thousands of them. And so we stocked up pretty good, didn't buy up a whole. I always buy only one or two of one size and uh, and don't hoard anything. But I just keep doing that week by week. For you know, you have quite a library of different jars. So anyway, that's really the next thing I want to make sure is, is just in case we have little waves of stuff like power outages or food shortages or, or something uh, funny with transportation. It could even be done because of strikes and stuff. We could have a gas shortage just because of that. Things like that. I would highly second, at least recommend being more prepared and do it in a practical way. Um, everybody has different budgets. Everybody has different ways they eat, different sizes of family, things like that. But don't sit back and do nothing because any of these things I'm suggesting won't hurt you at all it just you know and especially in different parts of the region where you guys have hurricanes or tornadoes or uh, weather really bad weather or flooding uh, to have a stash of food and water somewhere um is a is a really good thing and uh <laughs> yes i thought she was going to do that um by the way that pop there she's a, a german shepherd you, you can see she's only 10 months old and she's a sweetheart, but she likes to play. And I have an older dog that's kind of like, would you stop already? <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's why I had to say for that subject. I want to thank you for listening to that. Uh, any of your comments below and stuff like that. Uh, I think what I'm suggesting is not controversial at all. I think it's common sense. Uh, I think it's good planning. I know a lot of people just, they just don't do anything. And then they'll start trying to do something when a crisis happens and then it's too late. I just don't want to see that happen to people. And, uh, you know, everywhere you live, whether you live in apartments, a city, uh, rural or urban or in the country, um, you can do some kind of food preserving just to make sure that you don't have any trouble if something comes up. Could be temporary, could be long term too, but I'm just trying to keep it in perspective for short term things, especially people that are susceptible to really bad weather events. Um, and, and we haven't even talked about possible earthquakes or anything like that, uh, where uh, uh, certain areas could be crippled. Hey, you know, if one side of the country will be just fine, where the other ones are struggling because of an event. So uh, anyway, guys, do it. It's a good thing to do. It's kind of fun, and uh, you have gives you a lot of peace of mind. All right, we're back, and the last thing I wanted to talk with you guys today is freedom of speech. And the reason I bring that up is um, I'm going to explain to this, explain to you guys what we've done. <laughs> oh no, what have you done? <laughs> we created a new uh, uh, television channel on Roku. And we plan to expand it to even Fire Stick and some other platforms too. And it's called Cutting Edge TV. Now we also have a website that reflects what it looks like on Roku. 
And that's uh, uh, in the description below, too. It's called CuttingEdgeNetwork.com. It's CuttingEdgeNetwork.com. Now, why did we create this? Well, first of all, it's television, which makes it really easy to get to. If you have a Roku account, all you need to do is go into the search and type in Cutting Edge TV. That's it, just Cutting Edge TV, and it'll, it'll come up. And you click on it and you say add to your menu and then your front menu will show Cutting Edge TV, which has tons and tons of shows, all kinds of diversity to uh, amazing shows. And uh, we've got from Sins of Liberty to a whole bunch of new shows coming in from Paranormal. We're actually Easy Streets on there, along with Ranger Rob Cooking and Ranger Rob uh, Country Living, along with some of the other shows we do. Uh, we've got uh, John Smith, uh, uh, the John Smith show. We've got uh, sports shows. We <laughs> it just goes on and on. We have uh, another one called uh, Pops Low, which is a uh, uh, son, a son and father doing uh, uh, interesting, funny stories. And, and it's just the shows go on and on. I haven't even. Uh, to, and then when it comes to Sundays, we have a great faith program in the mornings. Uh, it's just endless. And then, of course, we've got the Leo Roundtable, which is a uh, law enforcement studies, basically studies uh, situations that have happened out there and a lot of retired uh, ch police chiefs and so on and so forth um, uh, analyze what the uh, officer did, uh, good or bad, pro or con, and, and also helps teach people the, the how law enforcement works. Excellent shows. And... Uh, Anyway, it's endless, and it's also anything you see, including this show, is all on video on demand, which means if you go to our station and you don't like what we're playing on the stream, um, you can just go to video on demand and find your favorite shows and binge watch them if you want. Or once a week, check in and say, oh, has Leo Roundtable having new updates? <laughs> Come on in. Or as cutting it, um, any of our... Uh, Cutting Edge shows like uh, Easy Street, um, any new uh, episodes come out, you can go through the whole library and binge watch if you want to. So it's called Cutting Edge TV on Roku. And it's different. It's not Facebook. It's not YouTube. It's television. And most smart TVs have Roku. If you have a Roku smart TV, once again, just go into your account Go into search and type in Cutting Edge TV. Now, why is this important? Well, because first of all, there's no filters, no censorship, which means we can bring on shows that can uh, tell the truth, not worry about talking in code like I have to do on this show. I'm only doing it because this show is also on YouTube. But uh, a lot of our shows that uh, stream live to Cutting Edge TV are free to say what they want, freedom of speech. And freedom, by the way, is a double-edged sword. When we all ask for freedom, that doesn't mean freedom is the way you look at it. It's freedom of how everybody looks at it. For example, let's say you go to Montana and you buy 20 acres and you have ducks and chickens and all that stuff and you got a rooster crows all the time. Well, your next neighbor who's got 20 acres has no right, if he believes in freedom, to come over and say, get rid of your rooster, he's too loud. Freedom means tolerance. Freedom means tolerance of each other. And so uh, uh, whether it's an opinion you appreciate or don't appreciate, um, your choice as an adult is turn the channel or don't move to a certain place or tolerate your neighbor and let them have their rooster. Just saying. So one of the things I want to show you is this is the website of Cutting Edge TV. It's, it's actually called CuttingEdgeNetwork.com. Uh, and uh, this allows you to watch any of our shows on your PC if you want to, or your Roku account on, on your PC. Um, on this site, um, usually you'll be able to uh, uh, actually see what stream is playing at the time. And sometimes this takes a little uh, time to load because I'm on a slower internet than most of you guys. 
But right now we're waiting for, we're right in between shows. So right now you see, stay tuned for our next show. Uh, in fact, it starts in two minutes. Um, the other thing is we have this giant library, which I'll switch over in a minute. Let me give you a little bigger picture here. Is This is our video on demand. So what we usually do is all of our latest shows, which we get two, three a day, uh, sh show up at the top here. And then the entire library, all these different shows coming in. Oh, by the way, yeah, She Said, He Said's up there too. We got some new shows coming in. We also got a new sports show coming in, Paradigm Chimes. And my show's right here um, on Easy Street. Uh, some of uh, um, our country living shows, which we think if they're entertaining, we'll put them up there. Uh, also, RV Talk Radio is up there, and my cooking show, and then Charlie uh, Richardson's show, along with some uh, freelance uh, filmmakers and also uh, music videos of new artists trying to get their uh, get their tunes out there. Uh, we also have lots of variety shows, and then we got the Ranger Rob Music Hour, which will play at midnight. Um, uh, and uh, plus, we have a lot of our newest shows coming in. Um, down below and as they're kind of developing these are a lot of our sunday programs so we keep them all down here because they have a special programming on sundays that show all these shows and all their latest shows but you can also binge watch them if you like so uh, yeah tons of shows look at this and more coming there's more shows coming we have four uh coming just in this month and i believe uh or between now and next week and a couple more after that is uh, it's just never ending. But we just got Sons of Liberty on, and that's exciting. So there you go. That's a new platform for you to enjoy. It's free for you, absolutely free. Um, if you happen to catch my show and you happen to be uh, uh, have your own show or something like that, you can talk to us, approach us at Cutting Edge TV, and ask us if you're interested in uh, creating a television show. Um, but the thing is, it's really important is the freedom, total freedom of speech, no censorship, real stuff. If you don't like what you're watching, the answer is turn the station. In our case, if you don't like what you're watching, just go to our video on demand and find the show that you do enjoy. Um, we did actually get a really neat uh, Christmas Carol um, uh, audio play that they wanted us to show. It was brand new. Uh, it's a two and a half hour show. If you like to get up there right away, uh, that show will be up there for a little bit longer and then we'll probably store it away for the year. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's a, a Christmas, the Christmas Carol, uh, two and a half hour um, uh, recording. Super awesome. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you about uh, our new platform on Cutting Edge TV. Um, and this show and all the shows that are trying to get the truth out there, or at least getting you think about things, are all under attack. I know if you don't like what you see uh, here, you usually want to cancel them. And that's not the answer. If you don't like something you're hearing, you turn the station and maybe go do your own research. Just like in this show, I brought up things that's like, no way, the, the vaccine, uh, uh, that special shot is going to be... Uh, great. It's great, 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 great. Can't hear anything else. And then you just want to have everything canceled. I suggest you listen, be tolerant. That's what freedom's all about. Do your own research. Don't just take my word it. I am not an expert and I'm not telling you one way or the other. I'm just saying, think common sense, that common sense word. There it is again. The one that we're all supposed to have, common sense, we're adults and you make adult decisions and don't expect the government to do it for you and other people. We're not lemmings for goodness sakes, guys. We're just, we're all human beings. We're adults. We can make decisions. Just do a little research. It's not hard. It really isn't. It can be kind of fun too. So that's all I got for you guys. I want to thank you very much for listening to Easy Street. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And especially Sherm, please take the time to like our videos. And please take the time to subscribe where you can. We appreciate it. So, guys, have a great day. Be safe. Talk to you later now. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.